Good morning, America. Whoever may be watching, I'm here to let you know that many of the laws that were passed by President Obama have little or no teeth, won't affect you, and when you go to use them, they don't apply. I'll give you an example. <clears throat> President Obama signed the No Fear Act into law. This is supposed to mean that you have protections guaranteed you in case you have been retaliated against for reporting the federal, for reporting any incidents of violation or malfeasance. Well, in my case, I had people illegally going into my Department of Veterans Affairs medical records. I never authorized it, never asked for services. And these were people that I worked with at the Department of Veterans Affairs. Uh, they were nosy and they were curious. Well, I ended up having to go through the whole HIPAA violation stage. I went through the investigation by the Office of Civil Rights. I even applied for the No Fear Act, which I, I don't even understand why President Obama has the, the director of the Department of Veterans Affairs send it out other than for you to let them know what's going on, to give them a chance to disenfranchise you, but to never give you the rights that were spoken of in this No Fear Law. Uh, I was suspended for things I didn't do. I was harassed. And I even had to go through the Office of Personnel Management to get my reasonable accommodations reinstated. I cited President Obama's law. I said right here, this is the No Fear Retaliation Law, which says I'm supposed to be respected and honored and taken care of when I report uh, whistleblower activity. What I didn't understand is that law did not apply to federal employees. Had it applied to federal employees, the millionaires that we call congressmen who represent us would have been applicable to that law. Since that law would affect them, it had no teeth. When I went through my congressman, I said, hey, this is what's going on with me, Randy Forbes. This is what's happening to me. He diligently looked into it. He had his lawyers investigate the law. I got a letter from the Department of Justice that said, Congress never authorized the appropriation of the Department of Justice to investigate such complaints. So basically, as we looked at our left-handed African-American president sign this bill into law, smiling, talking about what it does, what it didn't do was affect those that were in power, those that are within the federal government, and those who are not disenfranchised. So what I want to tell you is everything you see is not real. And then I had to look at it and I said, well, we have an African-American president. Well, let me get that quite right. We have a Caucasian woman who married an African man and they had a child. Now, the African came from Africa, so he wasn't part of the struggle and the things that went on with the Afro-Americans that were in America that had been slaves that had been abused, had been hanged, and had been lynched, had been murdered, had been castrated and hanged on trees. He came from a very different, different Africa, and his mother was white, so she never experienced the things that most African Americans have. So as you raise your hand and say, oh, what an honorable president have, oh, what an example we have, realize he's not one of you. That's why we are being murdered in the streets. That's why we have things happening to us, and we have a president who does little or nothing. We have policemen that are murdering you in the streets, and he does nothing. He remains silent. I think the only thing he said is, when the young man in Florida got killed is, he could have been my son. No, he really couldn't have been your son, President Obama, because your daddy was from Africa and your mother was white. This young man's child, this young man was raised here in America, and his parents were the products of the disenfranchised slaves that had been here for many years. No, he really couldn't have been your son. So the thing that I want you to know is everything that you see ain't real. They put somebody in office because the country was about to riot after the things that went on with George Bush. So you had to put somebody in place that would calm everything down and make you think, oh, this is all right, we're getting a second chance, we're getting ours. You really didn't get yours. You got a president that stayed so far away from black issues, it wasn't even funny on a regular basis. So all I'm saying is to you, look at what's going on and realize, and to all those veterans at the Department of Veterans Affairs, you're...
benefits and entitlements are ran by the wealthy and they could care very care very little about you until they get caught. And then when they get caught, they get another chance. You heard about the botched endoscopies and the people that died and all those good things and the people that got fired. The people that got fired didn't really get fired. What happened was there's something called the Merit Service Protection Board. And even though up front you saw them getting fired, millions of them had attorneys. These attorneys went through the Merit Service Protection Board and they all got their jobs back. Oh, you didn't hear about that. You surely did because it wasn't publicized. I found out because I was waiting on a Merit Service Protection hearing related to the facts that I had been a whistleblower. I explained the things that were going on with the federal government and I asked for my protection. My rights were put on hold for almost three years because they had to adjudicate all these cases with individuals who had attorneys and filed with the Merit Service Protection Board to get their jobs back. So what you see on TV is not what you get. Thank you.